Hello friends, in the last session we have successfully load all the micro apps into our host app. In this session we will try to get a real list of products into products app. So the agenda for today's session is display list of products in host and products app. So we will try to build UI something like this where we will try to fetch the list of products its price and and we'll try to display a beautiful ui like this so let's jump into the code i have made one small change here which i wanted to highlight in the apps folder you might see products basically in earlier version but i have created one new folder called views under the views i have just moved uh, the uh, products folder basically okay and related to this i have made changes to uh, the app routing model if you can see here i have added views and the webpack configuration file if you can see i have added views here if you if you can make these two changes your app will work again in the same way so all the apps currently i'm running so if i go to ui if you can see on to our host app i am able to load products cards and orders so everything seems to be working now let's start making the related changes to products app so i'll stop the products app okay i'll clear the terminal and first we'll create the services okay re which required basically in the products app so ng g for generate the services and i will create one new folder called services under that i will create a core services basically and uh, we'll try to create a network request service for which we don't need the uh, test cases so i'll skip this this is for which project products app now if you can see it has created the services folder under that it has a core folder under which it has created a network request service so, so i'll make some small change here so it should be network request service that's it okay simultaneously we'll try to create another service which is a product service okay so and product services are functional service okay so there should be a functional slash product and if i enter so it has created core and functional these are two folders under the functional there is a product service so we have created these two services successfully now try to implement the related changes so first i'll import http client okay that to from angular common slash http http client private http colon http client we'll just implement one method called get okay to which we require one parameter that is end point which is a type string and and we'll have one base property called a uh, base url which we will keep as https colon fix store api dot com slash and in get then this dot http dot get this dot base url plus endpoint so now we are done with this service related changes we'll make here so private a network request service okay just i'll put this i'll make this small n okay and here basically get products return this dot network with service dot date this is the method which we have written and what we want to pull basically the list of products so this is our endpoint okay so we have done with both the services so related changes we have to go to views product routing model here we can import import from we'll take angular slash common common module import it and we'll export it 
similarly i can go to app module.ts import from angular common slash http http client model that too we have to import here http client model we are done here now if i go to views products here we don't need this if i can go to product component dot ts i'll declare a one property here called products which is array of any type which is equal to an empty array this dot get products this method is still not there we'll implement it quickly get products which will return void will inject the product service of so private product service colon import the product service this dot product service dot see here get products dot subscribe what we are going to subscribe we are going to subscribe response of type any and we'll first log the response right dot log response simultaneously i'll try to set this dot products is equal to response we start the app again as this app is running we'll go to the products app we'll try to refresh products app is running we'll inspect it we'll go to the console and see here all the products are getting loaded now from where these products are coming as i said i have used this url fakestoreapi.com and they have given like you know that there is list of apis they have exposed like products cards users and all so i'm just making use of these products so there is a list of apis if you can see here i'm just calling this api there is a product by id by categories okay so all these apis are there so we have started with the products api these are the commands which we have used in the network request service we have configured fakestoreapi.com and uh, we have created services using these one is for ne network request and one is for product we'll continue with the uh, same in the next lecture thank you